Welcome to a demo of Windows Server 8 x64 beta. In this demo we're installing Windows Server 8 on a VMware Workstation 8 setup with 2 gig of memory and two cores associated with the CPU. And we begin with the initial setup screen here and we simply click install now or the other option of course is to repair your computer if you're using the CD. Now we're presented with two options. We can either do the core or the GUI option, core being the command line only. The difference here with, two, with um, Windows Server 8 versus 2008 is that if you choose the core installation initially, you can switch later on. In our example here, we are going with the GUI. And accept a license, similar interface to Windows 7 and Server 2008 as before. Now here we have the choice of upgrade or custom and we should point out that in terms of upgrading upgrade paths supported only include coming from server 2008 R2 you also will not be able to upgrade the final RTM server 8 release from this beta and there is not a rollback option with the beta so it should be installed in a test environment only and the system requirements, which you can also, by the way, take a look at on our website at tech-stu.com. Uh, the CPU minimum is 1.4 gigahertz, 64-bit in this case. Memory, 512 megs of RAM. Disk space, 32 gigabytes, although in our test at the end with an initial install, we were using 9.78 gigabytes. And Super VGA 800 by 600 or higher. So for this test, of course, it's just a clean install, so we choose Custom, and then we choose Next, and it'll go through and do its process here. Once setup completes, and you're prompted to uh, enter a password, and do that, and it'll finalize the settings here. And we're at the lock screen, similar to that of uh, Windows 8. And to log in, of course, we have to hit Control-Alt-Delete, put in our password. And it will bring us directly into Server Manager in the desktop area. Here we find ourselves in Server Manager. Server Manager looks a little bit different than it did in, in uh, 2008. This is where most admins will spend a pretty fair amount of time, right here in Server Manager, because you can pretty much do everything you need to do from right here. If we go to the Tools menu, you can see the various options here that currently exist with the bare bones install. Manage, adding roles, removing roles, adding servers, creating server groups, and so forth. This little flag here will be notification areas when roles are being added and other tasks are running. You can view details on them. You can look at all the servers you have that are in your settings and uh, view performance statistics if you have the performance turned on. We can also go back to the start screen and you will see a Windows 8 style start screen. Now like Windows 8, you're dealing with the hot corners if you're using a mouse, which most admins will be using a mouse. The upper left takes you back to the last app opened. Dragging it down would, of course, reveal other apps. Bottom left takes you back to the start screen, which we're already at. And the bottom right and upper right show the charms on the right-hand side that correspond to each application open. And, of course, the tiles on this interface. Of course, clicking Server Manager on the tile which is the only thing we have installed right now, will take you right back into Server Manager. Of course, Windows Explorer is Server 8, or Windows 8 style. It has the, um, the ribbon hidden by default. We have the options in here of uh, easy access, adding to favorites, and so forth, just like in Windows 8. Of course, with Server 8, we also have the robust file copy, which allows you to copy. When you copy more than one file at a time, it'll open up in one window, allowing you to pause and resume each file copy. But back to the server manager now. 
We'll take an example of adding a new role or feature. Clicking on that brings up our initial screen. And here we choose either role-based or feature-based installation or remote desktop services scenario-based installation. You can install roles directly to an offline virtual hard disk in some cases. Choosing the first option, role-based, we're choosing our own server here, not a virtual disk. And there are some new roles, one of them being the volume activation service. And there are some new features. If we click on features, you will see the Windows Biometric framework and the Windows PowerShell Web Access as some of the new features there. So going back to roles, let's just choose the file and storages services, expand that and choose file services. Clicking next and next again and click install. You can also choose to restart the destination server if it's required. We're not doing that here. Now the server will begin the install of the file server um, role. We can minimize this and once we do that, we see that we now have one notification up here by the flag and that, that can show details on what's going on with this role that's being added by clicking on show details. At the same time we can take a look at task manager which is just like Windows 8 where we have even more details than we did in the past. Performance and details and services. Now that install has succeeded and that is the completion of that role. And that's all we have for this demo. Be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube or check us out on the web at tech-stew.com and thanks for watching.